Les doy la bienvenida una vez más a su curso de inglés online. Yo soy la profesora Erika y el día de hoy les traigo una nueva lección en la cual aprenderemos a hacer preguntas en inglés y la manera correcta de cómo responderlas. Si logras dominar esto, serás capaz de realizar cualquier tipo de pregunta en inglés. Aquí en JK English estamos totalmente comprometidos en acompañarte en tu jornada para aprender inglés. Por esa razón, siempre tratamos de traerte contenido muy variado y efectivo para que puedas alcanzar tu meta. Te invito a que te suscribas a nuestro nuevo canal Inglés para Hispanohablantes para que tengas la oportunidad de ganar nuestro nuevo libro de gramática, totalmente gratis. Les dejaré en los comentarios el link de nuestro nuevo canal para que puedas suscribirte. Sin más nada que decir, comencemos con la lección del día de hoy. Let's begin. La primera serie de preguntas que estaremos aprendiendo utilizan la palabra who. Who en español significa quién. Usamos who cuando la respuesta es una persona. Who do you live with? Who do you live with? Who do you live with? ¿Con quién vives? Who do you live with? I live with my brother. I live with my brother. I live with my brother. Yo vivo con mi hermano. I live with my brother. Who is that woman? Who is that woman? Who is that woman? ¿Quién es esa mujer? Who is that woman? She's my cousin. She's my cousin. She's my cousin. Ella es mi prima. She's my cousin. Who is on the phone? Who is on the phone? Who is on the phone? ¿Quién está al teléfono? Who is on the phone? Sofía is on the phone. Sofía is on the phone. Sofía is on the phone. Sofía está al teléfono. Sofía is on the phone. Who can help me? Who can help me? Who can help me? ¿Quién puede ayudarme? Who can help me? Carlos can help you. Carlos can help you. Carlos can help you. Carlos puede ayudarte. Carlos can help you. Who is she waiting for? Who is she waiting for? Who is she waiting for? ¿A quién está esperando? Who is she waiting for? She's waiting for her boyfriend. She is waiting for her boyfriend. She is waiting for her boyfriend. Ella está esperando por su novio. She is waiting for her boyfriend. Who did the homework? Who did the homework? Who did the homework? ¿Quién hizo la tarea? Who did the homework? Everyone did the homework. Everyone did the homework. Everyone did the homework. Todos hicieron la tarea. Everyone did the homework. La siguiente serie de preguntas son realizadas con la palabra what, que significa qué. Usamos what cuando la respuesta es una cosa o alguna actividad. Presta mucha atención. What do you have in your bag? What do you have in your bag? What do you have in your bag? ¿Qué tienes en tu bolsa? What do you have in your bag? I have a sandwich. I have a sandwich. I have a sandwich. Tengo un emparedado. I have a sandwich. 
What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? What do you do in your free time? ¿Qué haces en tu tiempo libre? What do you do in your free time? I do sport. I do sport. I do sport. Yo hago deporte. I do sport. What is that? What is that? What is that? ¿Qué es eso? What is that? It's a hammer. It's a hammer. It's a hammer. Es un martillo. It's a hammer. What is she doing now? What is she doing now? What is she doing now? ¿Qué está haciendo ahora? What is she doing now? She is making dinner. She is making dinner. She is making dinner. Ella está haciendo la cena. She is making dinner. What do you do? What do you do? What do you do? ¿A qué te dedicas? What do you do? I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. I'm a doctor. Soy un doctor. I'm a doctor. What did you do last week? What did you do last week? What did you do last week? ¿Qué hiciste la semana pasada? What did you do last week? I went to church. I went to church. I went to church. Fui a la iglesia. I went to church. En la siguiente serie de preguntas usaremos la palabra where. Where significa dónde y lo utilizamos cuando la respuesta es un sitio. Where do you work? Where do you work? Where do you work? ¿Dónde trabajas? Where do you work? I work in the city center. I work in the city center. I work in the city center. Trabajo en el centro de la ciudad. I work in the city center. Where is Mary? Where is Mary? Where is Mary? ¿Dónde está Mary? Where is Mary? She is at work. She is at work. She is at work. Ella está en el trabajo. She's at work. Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? ¿A dónde vas? Where are you going? I'm going to the train station. I'm going to the train station. I'm going to the train station. Voy a la estación de tren. I'm going to the train station. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? ¿De dónde eres? Where are you from? I'm from Mexico. I'm from Mexico. I'm from Mexico. Soy de México. I'm from Mexico. Where were you born? Where were you born? Where were you born? ¿Dónde naciste? Where were you born? I was born in Colombia. I was born in Colombia. I was born in Colombia. Nací en Colombia. I was born in Colombia. Where can I buy a car? Where can I buy a car? Where can I buy a car? 
¿Dónde puedo comprar un automóvil? Where can I buy a car? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No lo sé. I don't know. A continuación seguiremos con las preguntas que llevan la palabra when, que significa cuándo. Usamos when cuando la respuesta es un momento. When is the concert? When is the concert? When is the concert? ¿Cuándo es el concierto? When is the concert? It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. It's tomorrow. Es mañana. It's tomorrow. When do you start work? When do you start work? When do you start work? ¿Cuándo empiezas a trabajar? I start at nine. I start at nine. I start at nine. Empiezo a las nueve. I start at nine. When are you going on holiday? When are you going on holiday? When are you going on holiday? ¿Cuándo te vas de vacaciones? When are you going on holiday? Next week. I'm really excited. Next week. I'm really excited. Next week. I'm really excited. La semana próxima. Estoy realmente emocionada. Next week. I'm really excited. When is the meeting? When is the meeting? When is the meeting? ¿Cuándo es la reunión? When is the meeting? It's next Friday. It's next Friday. It's next Friday. Seguimos con las preguntas que utilizan la palabra why. Why significa por qué. Usamos why cuando la respuesta es una razón. Why are you sleepy? Why are you sleepy? Why are you sleepy? ¿Por qué estás soñoliento? Why are you sleepy? Because I got up early this morning. Because I got up early this morning. Because I got up early this morning. Porque me levanté muy temprano esta mañana. Why isn't she here? Why isn't she here? Why isn't she here? ¿Por qué ella no está aquí? Why isn't she here? Because she's at work. Because she's at work. Because she's at work. Porque ella está en el trabajo. Because she's at work. Why are they leaving? Why are they leaving? Why are they leaving? ¿Por qué se van? Why are they leaving? Because they have to catch the bus. Because they have to catch the bus. Because they have to catch the bus. Porque tienen que alcanzar el autobús. Because they have to catch the bus. Why are you going to the doctor? Why are you going to the doctor? Why are you going to the doctor? ¿Por qué vas a ir al doctor? Why are you going to the doctor? Because I feel sick. Because I feel sick. Because I feel sick. Porque me siento enfermo. Because I feel sick. Por último, estaremos viendo las palabras que utilizan how. How significa cómo. Normalmente utilizamos how cuando la respuesta es una manera de hacer algo. How do you spell penguin? How do you spell penguin? How do you spell penguin? ¿Cómo deletreas la palabra pingüino? How do you spell penguin? 
P-E-N-G-U-I-N. Penguin. How do you get to work? How do you get to work? How do you get to work? ¿Cómo llegas al trabajo? How do you get to work? By bus. By bus. By bus. En autobús. By bus. How do I turn on the computer? How do I turn on the computer? How do I turn on the computer? ¿Cómo enciendo la computadora? How do I turn on the computer? You just push this button. You just push this button. You just push this button. Solo presionas este botón. You just push this button. Y bueno amigos, hemos llegado al final de la clase del día de hoy. Si quieres que realice más lecciones como esta, solo tienes que dejármelo en los comentarios. No olvides suscribirte a nuestro nuevo canal para que tengas la oportunidad de ganarte nuestro nuevo libro de gramática.